two, test one, test two, testing, testing, one, two, three. Everyone's here. Okay, great. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Audrey Villasali, and I want to welcome you, um, those that are worshi worshiping here with us today, here and online. Welcome to Vacation Bible School Sunday, <laughs> where you guys get to be a part of Vacation Bible School. <laughs> So all of our kids and our volunteers this week had a wonderful week here at VBS, as you can see, and we want to share some of that with you guys today. So I am joined in leading worship this morning with Pastor Brittany, Kaylee Snyder, our tech team, and some of our kids and volunteers from VBS. So after service, as you guys might start smelling, we're having chicken and waffles, so please stay for that. And then after that, we're going to have a family water gun fight. <laughs> Please remember to keep our Appalachian Service Project team in your prayers this week. We sent off a team of 10 people yesterday morning, including some that are third generation of their family to help with ASP. Please also pray for the families they will be working with. Next Sunday, July 28th, they will offer presentations during both worship services. All right, and to get us started, we have a little video um, of some of what happened this week. Can you
invitation to worship today, we're going to do it a little differently. So at VBS each night, we had some different characters that helped us with a little phrase that the kids were going to say. So after we would say one of these phrases, all of our kids would go, So that's going to be y'all's job today. And to help me out, Colton's going to come and help me. And I need my sign holders too. Come on up, sign holders. One of you grab the bow. Okay, I'll grab the bow. a friend who's real. Thanks, God! God is a friend who loves. Thanks, God! God is a friend we can trust. Thanks, God! God is a friend forever. Thanks, God! God is a friend for everyone. Dear God, unbind us, your people, here at this classroom, as we seek to grow as your disciples. Reveal to Hagrid UMC your will and your direction. Teach us how to welcome and care for others, serve you, and share your good news with our community. Amen. Any volunteers that want to come up that know the songs can too. Or if you weren't at VBS this week and you want to come join us, come join.
Nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. How does it feel to be a VBS camper now? Do you feel the scuba? Feel you're under the sea? Do you guys remember how we breathe in scuba? With our, can you go? <sighs> Sound familiar, anyone? Y'all try it too. Do a scuba breath. <sighs> it's really good if you're feeling anxious, by the way, too, to do that. So as you know, we go through Vacation Bible School, and each day is a different theme, right? Raise your hand if you've been to Vacation Bible School as a kid before. Look around. Kids, look back there. They used to be kids too, believe it or not. And then raise your hand if you've ever volunteered with Vacation Bible School. Raise your hand. Kids, yeah, kind of. Y'all volunteered too. Very nice. Look around. And raise your hand if you helped this year with Vacation Bible School. Notice that the hands are a little tired this morning. Yeah, a little tired. But thank you so much. So each day the kids would focus on a different Bible story. And the first day is one of my favorite. So we're going to go through these different uh, days, but it's going to sound a little bit like a newscaster. Are you ready? Should I attempt my 1920s newscaster voice? No, I shouldn't. Oh, goodness. I should not have asked that one. All right. <clears throat> Today's weather forecast is once again dry. Just like every other forecast for the last three years, zero chance of rain. And today is no different. We have no fronts moving into the wait. This just in. There's still no rain in the forecast, but that prophet Elijah is up to something. He and the prophets of Baal are calling down fire from heaven? That's a new one for this weather forecaster. Since Baal isn't real, there's 0% chance of fire from heaven while those prophets dance and cry out. <laughs> but you might want to seek shelter because now it's Elijah's turn. Elijah is calling on the real God, and yes, here it is, fire. Whoa. Folks, I've never seen anything like this. The fire from heaven burned up not only for the sacrifice and wood, but even the stones. Stones don't usually burn up, but, well, God is real deal. Plus, all that stuff was soaking wet. Okay, the excitement is over. It's dry once again, but what's this? Do I see a tiny cloud on the radar? Yes, there it is. Nothing to worry about. It's just the size of my fist. Whoa, get out those umbrellas after all, because it's raining cats and dogs. I've never seen a storm come out of nowhere like this. Well, the rain is over, and what is the crazy weather? Elijah seems just to be taking a nap and eating, so maybe God will let the weather stay calm for now. I don't understand really what just happened, but one thing's for sure with God sending this wild and crazy weather, God is a friend who's real. Thanks, God. All right, y'all. So now we're going to have our second day come up. So you want to use this one? Thank you. And this is the story of Jonah, and this is one of my very favorite uh, stories. Jonah was a prophet, a messenger of God. But one day, God gave a message Jonah did not want to deliver, a warning to the city of Nineveh. So off Jonah went, in the wrong direction. Jonah hopped on a boat and hightailed it out of there. But Jonah forgot that he couldn't run away from God. God knew right where Jonah was and sent a major storm. The sailors were so scared, and Jonah knew it was his fault, so he had the sailors throw him into the sea. The storm stopped, and God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah so he wouldn't drown. Jonah spent three days praying in the fish, and then the fish spit him out onto the shore. Blech. Jonah knew what he had to do, so he went to Nineveh. When he told the people God was going to destroy their city in 40 days, the people were so sorry. God, they, they stopped doing evil things and showed God how sorry they were. 
God, being so full of love and mercy, decided to save their city. That made Jonah mad. He sat and moped about it while watching to see if Nineveh would get destroyed after all. God told Jonah he should be glad God loved the people of Nineveh and saved them. Jonah should care about people. But even if Jonah wasn't loving, God is a friend who loves. God. And now we're going to move on to day three. No, we're not. Not yet. I got a friend in Jesus, so you got a friend in me. Let's have some fun with each other like we're one big happy family. Come on now, sing it with me. I got a friend in Jesus, so you got a friend in me. Let's have some fun with each other like we're one big happy family. Yeah, let's like let Slide left one more time. Now turn to the right and give someone a high five. Now slide right, right, right. Get back to where you started. Now jump up and down. Yeah, it's time to party, cuz I got a friend in Jesus, so you got a friend in me. Let's have some fun with each other, like we're one big happy family. Clap your hands. Your feet. Now let's get down, 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 down. Now jump and sing with me, cause I got a friend in Jesus, so you got a friend in me. Let's have some fun with each other, like we're one big happy family. Now let me hear you shout, hey! Shout it again, hey. hey! Yeah, let's do it all together, cause we'll be doing it forever. Together in eternity, yeah. You got a friend in me. Let's have some fun with each other, like when we're one big happy family. I got a friend in Jesus, so you got a had to turn it on, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, day three. We're talking about how Jesus calms the storm. One day, Jesus' friends went out for a sail, but this evening, cruise became quite the tale. It started out normal, just crossing the lake, but soon the waves grew and started to break. The storm got so wild that it posed quite a threat. And Jesus' poor friends were starting to sweat. The watery waves tumbled higher and higher, and soon this boat trip became rather dire. The water smashed, splashed, and crashed right into the boat. If that kept up, it would no longer float. The men felt so sure they were going to drown, but where was Jesus? They looked all around. At the back of the boat, Jesus snoozed sound asleep, as if the loud storm wasn't making a peep. While Jesus dozed, his head on a pillow, the waves continued to crash and to billow. The disciples cried out, we're going to die. Jesus, wake up. Oh, why, oh, why? Don't you even care at all? There's a major storm. This is no minor squall. So Jesus got up and he said with a thrill, waves be silent, waves be still. All of the sudden, the wind just stopped. The waves so high immediately dropped. 
The storm was over. Now there was peace. Would this make the disciples' faith increase? They never had to be afraid. Not with Jesus there to aid. So when your life feels like a bust, remember that God is a friend, a friend we can trust. Thanks, God. Alrighty, day four. Jesus is God's son. He came to earth to live as a person, and he never did anything wrong. But one day, soldiers arrested Jesus. Leaders put him on trial. People whipped Jesus with a sharp whip and put a crown of thorns on his head. Even though Jesus hadn't done anything wrong, the people shouted to kill him. They nailed Jesus to a cross. People made a sign to make fun of Jesus for calling himself the king of the Jews. But Jesus really is a king. People gambled to keep Jesus close. After hanging on the cross, suffering in pain, Jesus died. They took him down from the cross, and a man put Jesus in a tomb. Jesus' friends felt so sad. Three long days later, his friend Mary Magdalene came to put some spices on his body. But the stone covering the tomb had been moved. And Jesus' body was gone. Mary ran to find more of Jesus' friends. What happened to Jesus' body? Finally, they realized no person had moved Jesus' body. Jesus is alive. Even though Jesus never did anything wrong, not even little things, people treated him like a criminal. Jesus took the punishment for all the things we do wrong. And when Jesus came back to life, he showed that he was stronger than death and sin. He beat them forever. Now we can live in heaven with God. And God is a friend forever.
Thank y'all so much. Well, part of Vacation Bible School that is so fun is getting to hear from the kids. And so I'm Pastor Brittany. I don't know if I said that. I'm going to invite one of our kids, Kaylee, who's going into fourth grade, to come up with me. He is now. There you go. You going to test it, make sure it works? Testing. There we go. It works. So I'm going to ask Kaylee a little bit about your experience with Vacation Bible School. So how long have you been coming to Vacation Bible School, do you think? Um, basically every year. Yeah, basically every year. So probably like four years now? Uh, yep. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, something like that. So this year's theme was? Scuba. Do you remember what scuba stands for? No. Anybody here know what scuba stands for? Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Or my favorite, from one of my favorite TV shows, Something Creepy Under Boat Andy. All right, so scuba was the theme. What did you do during VBS? What was your days like? Um, so each day we had a different, like, uh, underwater friend to right. help us learn something about God. Okay. So day started, and by day I mean 6.15 at night started with like songs and getting to learn about our different Bible buddies. And then where would you go with your crew? What was your crew name? Uh, it was Stingrays. The Stingrays. Woo woo. And what would you do as your first activity with the Stingrays? Uh, the first activity we would do was Imagination Station. It was where we would make all sorts of fun crafts. Yes. Any, any crafts stand out in particular? Um... This was my favorite one. Yeah, that one was really fun. We made little Octavias. Little octopuses, yeah, with googly uh -huh. eyes. Googly eyes, always a big hit. All right, so that was Imagination Station. Uh-huh. Any other activities you would do? Uh, so we also made little Jonah and the whales. So what we did was we had a cup, and then we had a balloon, and then we oh, had a yeah. pom-pom inside, so you, like, pulled down the balloon and pom-poms go every year, just like the whale spitting out Jonah. Yep. Big fish spitting out Jonah. Okay, so that was crafts. What would be next? Uh, next uh -huh. was Bible story in here. Bible story in here, taught by the fabulous... Miss Audrey. The fabulous Miss Audrey and Miss Carol. over yep. there, not somewhere else, because there are like four Audreys. Yeah, there are a lot of Audreys. So what did you learn at Bible time? Um, so we learned about Jonah and the whale. Yep. Um, we learned about the bonfire. Elijah and the prophets of Baal, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we also learned about Livia. Lydia, who was? Uh, the owner of the purple cloth shop. Owner of the purple cloth shop, yeah. And she started the first church. Started the first church, yep. One of those little-known women that were disciples of Jesus. Mm -hmm. What other Bible stories did you learn? Um, Look behind you. Uh, we also learned about how Jesus calms the storm. Jesus calms the storm. Yes, my favorite. Uh, my favorite way to show it. Anyone here when I preached on it, like, three weeks ago? So everybody show me your crazy storm. And then Jesus said, calm. Yep, always a fun game. Okay, any other Bible stories we learned? Um, let's see, we learned about the bonfire. We learned about Jonah and the whale. We learned about Jesus calms the storm. Oh, we also learned about how Jesus came back to life. Jesus' resurrection, yes, a very important one. That's yeah. awesome. And then after you had Bible time, where would you go next? After Bible time, we went to snack. Mmm, snack. Do you remember who was leading snack? Huh? Do you remember who led snack? Who the leader was? Uh, Miss Marie. Everyone say hello to Miss Marie and Clint. They did a great job. Any snacks in particular stand out? Um, I really liked the, with the one where you had two vanilla co cookies mm -hmm. and then there was icing in the middle, the oysters with the, choc with the white chocolate chip in the middle. Do you remember what it was? What, what was it? It was an oyster, right, with a pearl in the middle. That was delicious. What else would you do during or snack time? 
Uh, we also had little sand dollar cookies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Any other activity that happened during craft time? Maybe something to do with, I don't know, this board? We also looked for God sightings. Okay, what were God sightings? So God sightings were places where you saw God doing work and like um, God doing work and like working on the world. Yeah, God doing the stuff, yep. definitely, yeah. And so we would do that during snack time each day, would ask different, I know Miss Audrey's gonna talk about that in a little bit. And so after snack time, where would you go? Uh, next we would go to games. Games, very nice. And so y'all know, it was a heat advisory almost all week long. So even at 8.30 at night, we had to be inside for games because of all the heat. But Ms. who who led games, do you remember? Uh, Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack, he's not here, but that was great, yeah. Six foot 11, I don't know, but really tall guy with a lot of fun. Yep. Any particular games stand out? Um, I don't know, I liked watching the water game. <laughs> Watching the water game. Yeah, the last day was water games, and ooh-wee, did y'all get wet. It was always oh, yeah. interesting to see the people who had games first come in the church completely soaked, and then they'll all night long so cold. But did you get wet? No. No. You were like me. You're like, no, no, no. No, thank you. And you didn't get wet either. I didn't. I wore a raincoat and had an umbrella. I was not going to get wet. Anything you did after games? Um, after games, we went to Sticky Scripture Cove. Sticky Scriptures, does that mean like a Bible that's sticky? No, like so the point of the name was it's supposed, so they were hoping that once you, uh, Cove was just for the theme. Yeah. <laughs> so we would go in and we would learn about a certain verse in the Bible. Yeah, you got your own little book of John, like your own little Bible, each person. Yep. Your mom can hold it up so people can see, or Ada can hold it up so people can see. Yep. We got our own little Bibles, each kid. Yep. Um, and the hope was, after you left, the script, the verse would be like sticky in your mind. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's stick in your mind. And also, did you get something to stick on your Bible? Uh, no, but we got stickers to, to stick on our name tags. You got stickers to stick on your name tags. Yep. All right. So that was sticky scriptures. Your mom is displaying. Mom, can you display to the rest of the church? Great job, Ada. <laughs> so after sticky scriptures, what happened? That sounds like a long day. Um, after sticky scriptures. We just went to the social hall and we just sang a bunch of songs and it was like the closing of the day. Wow. Anybody tired just hearing all of that? Yeah, it takes, one of the kids is like, yes, I was tired. I left here at 8.45 at night. Any of the volunteers tired just hearing about all of that? Yeah, it was a very full day and we had to have an army of volunteers who were great. Did you have a favorite part that you did? Um, I think I liked everything. Yeah. What did you learn about God at VBS? Um, I think the main thing I learned at VBS was that God is a friend who's real and you can always trust him. Yeah. Do it with me. Thanks, God. Definitely. Well, you have been so awesome. I was telling the other service that one of my first memories of coming to church was you and Ada at 1045 during children's time. And what you would do was come up and sit with Miss Lori and then do the exact opposite of whatever she was trying to get you two to do. Y'all were crazy up here. But it's awesome to know that God is a friend and that you can make friends at church too. So can we thank Kaylee so much? Awesome, thank you. All right, so like Kaylee was saying, one of the things that they did every day at um, snack time was they did this thing where we talked about our God sightings. So I'm gonna need some help. Would some of my kids wanna come sit up here and help me talk about our God sightings? You can come on up if you want to. Oh, come on up, Addie. 
All right, so for our God sightings every day, we started out pretty simple. The first night, we just talked about what kinds of things God has blessed in the ocean. Do you guys remember some of the animals that you guys wrote down that God blessed us with in the ocean? I wrote pufferfish. I put a frogfish. Anybody else? Blobfish. Oh, it's blobfish. Oh. <laughs> One of my favorites that got put on the board was uh, somebody wrote manatee and then drew a little picture of a manatee. That was one of my favorites. So we started out just recognizing that God is in everything he's created. And then we started talking and getting a little bit deeper. And we talked about some things that happen in our own lives where maybe God answered prayers or God sent us people. So I need some help reading some of these. And if you can't read, I'll help you. Okay. Let me pass them out so you have a chance to look at it. Always protect you even if you get hurt. Mm. Every animal working together. Every animal working together, yeah. Miss Jen, Miss Ava, um, and the person that wrote it was Caroline. <laughs> Jocelyn's happiness. Are you happy, Jocelyn? <laughs> How big the ocean is? You want to hold it up? No? Okay. My mom when she was sick. My mom when she was sick. And then I have a couple others. So some other ones that kids wrote, we had church. Oh, here's my manatee. My family, friends, my dog, uh, my grandparents, my cousins, my aunt. Prayed for my friend Ellie when she moved, and I prayed that she is safe. Dad in heaven. 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I prayed for my brother who was depressed. Grandparents and parents. The people all around me. I hit my knee really bad, and then it felt better. One time when my bestie moved away, my dad prayed for me. God, Clara, Mommy, and I prayed for my parents out of a disagreement. God will always be with you through the night. So those are just a couple of the God moments that our kids came up with throughout the week. So since we're doing a VBS service, I want all of you to think of one God moment that you had this week. It could have just been somebody loving you. It could have been something beautiful you saw out in nature. But I want everybody to think of that one thing in their head. to share. Miss Brittany will come around with a microphone. Anybody want to share? Feel Anybody want to share a way that you saw God this week? I had a birthday party at VBS and it was very lovely. It was. We had a cake and everything. <laughs> Anybody else want to share how they saw God this week? Yes, Gabby Lee. Oh. Uh, yeah, definitely helping with the kids. Anybody else want to share how they saw God this week? Miss Marie, yes? I saw God um, with the adult class, the adult Bible class, and how they bonded. Yeah, the adults had a Bible school with Pastor Doug, and that was great. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? We celebrated my mom's birthday last week, and we had our family together. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that there's so much birthdays. The way the kids screamed when they thought I was actually going to throw fish guts on them. 
To be fair, she did throw water on them multiple times during the week. Yeah, how'd you see God? My birthday was on Wednesday. Yes, so many birthdays. Wow. Happy birthday. Anybody else see God this week? Oh my goodness, Miss Liz, why'd you raise your hand once I was over here? We saw a double rainbow yesterday. Saw a double rainbow. Anybody see the rainbows yesterday? Raise your hand. Anybody else have a God sighting they want to share? Miss Ava, yeah. When my team figured out we could avoid the water gun by working together. <laughs> yeah, Miss Ava was very popular that way. Anybody else want to share how they saw God this week? Ron, no? No. Okay. I am getting my steps in for God, so they count double. Okay. The skit at the beginning of VBS every night. Yes, Lucy and Addie did a great skit every night. Poor Lucy had to wear like a bathing suit over and goggles and flippers. Talking to friends. Yeah, seeing God through talking to friends. Y'all have seen God a lot. Great job. Yeah. Do any of you have any more God sightings that you wanted to add? So I encourage you guys, just like we learned at VBS, to watch for God everywhere you go. Because like the kids were noticing as the, week go to, got, uh, as the week went on, it was easier and easier to spot all the ways God was working, wasn't it? Once we start really looking for it. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. Addie, you want to tell everyone who loves you? Who loves you? Mommy. Mommy, yes, very good. That's her God sighting for the week. All right, guys. What do we have next, Miss Audrey? My script is over there. Bree, you want to help me out? I think it's that I lead prayer concerns, but <laughs> she's like, I don't want to talk. None of that is what I need, by the way. Um, so we're going to move to prayer concerns time. So when we're praying this week, we learned all about the ways that God was real. And we prayed not just during our God sightings, but we also prayed before snack every day. Perfect. Thank you. We prayed before snack every day. We prayed at what other times? At the beginning of VBS, anyone want to take a wild gab at when we would also pray? At the end of VBS, yes, very good. So we have a lot of things that have been going on in the church and in our lives. Maybe do a small hand raise if you felt overwhelmed lately. Some of you are like big hand raise, yes. Yeah, maybe do a small hand raise if you know someone who's been overwhelmed lately. And I say that because our kids experience that, right? Our kids are empathetic and they see. So when we pray, we're lifting up not just the prayers that I mentioned, but all of the prayers that you feel in your heart. So I want you guys to put your hand on your heart and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for showing us that you are a friend to everyone. Help us. Love others, love others, just like you, just like you. Love, us. love us. And all God's children said, amen. Amen. Thank you very much. If you would like to give to Haygood, I did a little bit backwards. We have an offering bowl in the back you can give online. Um, it is a way that we give back so that things like this can happen, that we can transform our church into an underwater cove, but also so that we can transform hearts and minds to know more about God. So for our singing of our commitment, we are going to do Thanks God, and we have a slideshow that goes with it. So kids, if you want to come up and do the motions with us, you can, and then Miss Ava, thankfully, is going to do the day five slideshow that was at the end.
maybe. Yes. She says, yes, maybe. We'll try it. All right, guys, if you want to come on up. All right, thank you guys all so much for being part of VBS Sunday. <laughs> so, reminder, please, right now we're gonna have chicken and waffles, and then afterwards, I will make an announcement and we'll all go outside for a family water gun fight. If you did not bring a water gun, we have extra, so everyone is welcome to join us. Dear God, thank you for a wonderful week at Vacation Bible School. Um, please go with us uh, this week and remind us that you're our friend and how much you love us. In Jesus' precious name, amen. All right, let's eat, guys.